Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to the shed. How is your day today? Please, please let me know in the comments down below. Absolutely love hearing from you every single day. It really brightens my day and uh, makes me feel uh, better about what we're trying to accomplish here together. Speaking of that, it's Tuesday, November 8th, and in the U.S. that means it's election day. At the end of today, we are going to find out who is to be our next president. That being said, uh, after this, we just have to live with this decision that we've all made. We have to wonder how we got to this point in life. But whatever, it is currently about 1400, uh, 2 o'clock or so in the afternoon for those Americans, and... I haven't voted yet. I'm going to go as soon as I can get relieved from daddy duty. Um, I work for the State Board of Education, and schools are closed for Election Day, typically because the schools are the polling places. Um, they're one of the few public buildings that can handle the traffic, so that's why we use the school systems that way. So schools close, my job closes, so I'm home with the children today, and hopefully I can um, sneak away for a little while and vote. Voting is super important even if you even if you absolutely are disgusted with the choices that we have on the presidential ballot which I know many many people are um, there are typically lots of other local issues that you need to go represent for instance in the state of West Virginia we have a new guy running for the State Department of Agriculture I'm not sure what that position is officially called but I do know that the person that we've had for the last like forever is just he's garbage and we need to just throw him away and start over he refuses to set up any sort of um, open market for farmers to sell their meat and so for me to go get meat locally grown meat I have to go to Pennsylvania or Ohio or Maryland or literally any other state because most states have farmers markets we don't and um, that bothers me because we do have a decent amount of sheep and cow farms in this area that would love to sell their meat Instead, they have to sell a half a cow or whatever. So hopefully we can get somebody new in that position who is open to the idea of farmers being able to sell local. That would that would be great. Um, that's just one small little hot button issue for me personally, but there are dozens and dozens and dozens of other uh, candidates on your ticket that will probably affect you locally. Uh, obviously, the national presidency is going to be a big deal, and I'm sure that... You know, tomorrow will be um, thousands of news articles covering it. But that's not why I'm here. I don't, this isn't a political show. So to change it up a bit, we had a call in. So let's listen to that. Hello, is this Chevrolet Dodge? It is. If it is, I'd like to order something from the shed. I need a circular saw, 15,000 pounds of maples, and one Chevy dog to show up and deliver them hand in person. Thank you so much. Keep up the good work. Cheers. 15,000 pounds of meatballs. I don't think I have that. Um, I, I'll get right on that. <laughs> that was that person was not British. That is my friend Scott Morris, uh, who I interviewed a while back on the show. He is a president of Passport Game Studios. So, super awesome guy, and he's extremely funny to hang out with. And speaking of circular saws, um, I know we've discussed a lot of the tools that I have in my shop, and they're mostly budget-friendly tools. And recently, well, during the building of the unnamed sound box, we had a casualty, and that is my miter saw, which sits just off camera here. here I'll show it to you. Um, the miter saw, I believe, was purchased by my father, like, in the mid-90s at a tool sale. Essentially, it's like a traveling tool show where people come in and, um, set up tools, you know, import tools and stuff. And it's like a complete no-name, and that thing has been rock solid for the last 20 years. It's finally died. It's finally, um, time to to find a replacement for it. The motor burned up on it. Um, I could probably figure out a way to connect a different motor to it, but honestly, I just need a new saw. That one has never been terribly accurate. So, I'm in the market. Um, if anybody has a old miter saw that they want to get rid of, please let me know. I might be interested. 
Um, and also, I'm, I'm going to start looking at sponsorship opportunities. And that's really what I want to talk to you about today. How do you feel about sponsored content? Say I was to get a sponsor who to, to let me test a saw, and I covered it in detail, uh, either through an unboxing or whatever. How do you feel about that? I haven't done that yet. You know, even the even the pandering video I did to Gems of War was just me talking. It, it had nothing to do with the developers or the publishers. Nobody sponsored that. It was just me loving the product. How do you feel about sponsored content like that? If I were to introduce that sort of stuff to help me grow the channel, obviously, does that bother you? Does it does it take away the genuine aspect of this show? The comment section is below. It's open to your interpretation. Um, no, that's not. It's open to you telling me what you think. Please leave comments down there letting me know how you feel about sponsored content, whether it would bother you. You know, I don't want to sit here every day and try and sell you something because that's not the intent. But if I could... Um, grab more audience by introducing tools or review, review videos or whatever, then that's definitely a way for me to expand the show and to continue doing what we're doing. Um, so yeah, I want to hear from you. On top of that, if you have any information about uh, a budget-friendly miter saw that I should look at, please let me know because I'm obviously in the market. When, I, when that thing died, finishing this was actually like extremely difficult. I didn't realize how much I relied on my miter saw making weird cuts on a table saw where the cut is the piece is longer than it is deep is really dangerous and i didn't want to do that so i ended up using um i ended up using a speed square that orange one hanging there in my circular saw to make some cross cuts uh, in the end it works i got it together we all know that um i'm proud of it so uh yeah but I, I definitely need something. So let me know. Let me know what you think about sponsored content. Go vote. I'm about to do that. You should go do that. And uh, I'll see you back here tomorrow. Hey, Doc, wait. I want to ask you something. Today's random fact comes from popsugar.com. That's interesting. In, in West Virginia, we call soda pop. Well, I don't, but a lot of people do. So pop sugar to me sounds like sugar, sugar, whatever. Tick, uh, how much was the ticket to Woodstock? Mm hmm. Tickets bought before the concert were $18 for all three days. At the gate, they were $24. So the correct answer could be $6 or $8 per day. When was Have you ever been to a music festival that cheap?